So I'm going to show you today how to do a messy bun. Keeping in mind that this is a bun that could be placed anywhere on the head, I'm going to do it a little higher. That seems really fresh for spring and summer. You could do it a little bit lower if you were doing it for a more for formal occasion. You could also add this technique into anything. You could do several of these messy buns next to each other. That would create a very beautiful look too. Since the whole thing is going to be messy, I'm going to start by hairspraying the front of her hair away from her face. Just gonna use a really light, flexible hairspray to do that. I'm just kind of spraying it with my fingers and holding it into place. Just want kind of the outside to be big and textured. So now I'm gonna start taking my bun. And again, I'm doing a high bun today, but you could do whatever placement of this that you want to. This is the point at home where you would go upside down, of course. I'm just going to smooth the back up. I'm not going to get my brush into the front just yet because I do want it to be a little bit messier, so I'm probably just going to use my hands to place it into place. So when you're doing this at home, a good tip to keep the back portion of the head really nice and tight, sometimes it gets a little saggy, would be to tilt your head backwards. Perfect. And then use that to get a little bit of tightness. I'm going to have her hold her head back until we get the front in place. And I'm just gonna lightly, with my fingers, toss the front in there. Holding the whole thing. I'm gonna do a ponytail. Okay, go ahead and tilt back up. Perfect. And you can see how tight against the back of the neck that is. Really, really beautiful silhouette. Come back, loosen up my front a little bit. And this is where you can use your own inspiration to come up with whatever you want to do. So th there are a hundred ways to do a messy bun. One of my favorite ways to do is actually to do a, a physical knot on the hair. So I'm going to take this hair, stick it straight up into two separate sections, and then I'm going to go over and under and come through a loop for one of them, and then pull it down. What it gives you when you're done is kind of an awesome shape. So I'm just taking and kind of flattening that up, messing it up. And then you end up with these cute ends too. So I'm just going to take it, gather it up, almost just take it like in a handful. Gather it up. I like the ends out. I'm just going to place those wherever. And then lightly in my hands hold it. And then I'm going to just add in some bobby pins. I'm just going to place my bobby pins straight down and then push them into place so that you can't see them. You could also use hair pins if you wanted a super soft look. Like I said, there are many ways to do a messy bun. Uh, this is just a good system to go by. Keeps everything kind of organized for you. A lot of what we do in hairdressing is kind of organized chaos anyway. So you have all these beautiful ends out that you can play with. You have this really fun little texture. Doesn't look too perfect. And it also doesn't look too messy either. So now you can just kind of play with the shape, bring different elements out. And then now you just want to go in and refine. So if you're doing something that's messy, you don't necessarily want everything to messy be messy. You do want to show some contrast and have some smoother pieces. So I'm actually going to take the sides of her hair and create a little bit more polish that way. Maybe even using the side of my can of hairspray to add in a little bit of that. Also gonna spray in a little bit more definition to the mess. So I've just tucked my fingers in here and my hairspray those. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then you'll be able to see a little bit more dimension in there. Maybe play, spray some of those ends, smooth up the back. And again, it's just kind of the juxtaposition of having something that's neat and smooth with something that's a little bit messier. In the front, I want it kind of messy too, so I'm gonna do the finger trick again, where I'm just raking my hands in there, kind of holding that texture into place and then letting it cool for a bit. The longer you let this cool, the more textured it will become. 
So that is how you do a messy bun.